Hello, my name is Andrei. Welcome back to my channel. We look today into the webpack and configuration inside Django Python project. Right, so first question, why you need to use webpack with Django? Uh, the answer is because you still need to use JavaScript in Django because you want to make your application uh, to be dynamic, user-friendly and so on. Uh, usually it would not be enough to go with just uh, plain HTML uh, templates uh, uh, and Django tags. You still need to use JavaScript, right? And most likely you would have more than one JavaScript file in your Django project. Also, you have dependencies installed through NPM. So instead of including all those scripts manually into uh, Django base template, it's more convenient to use Webpack, package all those dependencies and JavaScript files into the single distributable bundle and Include it as a single reference into a Django HTML template. This is what I'll show from based on our project. By the way, in our project, we're using Flowbyte UI components library. It also comes with the free set of UI components based on a Tailwind. And this library comes with the supporting JavaScript files on its own. So this is what currently we're using in our Django project, and I'll show how to package those JavaScript files from the Flowbyte library. Okay, let's uh, jump to my screen. Uh, here we got the readme file, and as soon as you have Node initialized in, 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 in your Django project, it's very easy to install Webpack, just one line command, and PM install Webpack. Then you need to create Webpack configuration file in the root directory, and as soon as this is done, then you can run npm run dev. This would start the listener process, which would listen automatically for any changes that would be saved in JavaScript files, and then it would rebuild the bundle automatically. And you could go to the browser, refresh it, and you'll get the latest change that you implemented. So in terms of the Webpack configuration, uh, what we have here is the three main properties, entry, file name, and path. So entry, it points to uh, like a root JavaScript file where you define uh, imports. And for those imports, you should define all the dependencies and scripts that are being used in your application and that you want to package into distributable. So this way you don't need to use any additional metadata uh, to tell what you want to package. You just uh, have a JavaScript file with plain imports and this would be enough for the webpack to package all the dependencies. Then you have file name. This is the name of the resulting bundle and the path. It specifies where the bundle will be stored. In our case, we have all the JavaScript files and the static scripts. Then this is the resulting bundle file and we have charts, sidebar uh, files over here and this app.js. So if you look into app.js, we have three imports at the moment. This uh, import from the flow byte. Uh, this is dependency that is coming from them. NPM installation, and then there are two local dependencies on the sidebar and charts uh, scripts. So all those dependencies will be packaged automatically by the by the uh, webpack. Then if you look into the base HTML, uh, we have over here below the single script reference. We're using Django uh, static tag, which would which helps us to load <coughs> uh, static resource a bundle JS with all the JavaScript uh, code uh, bundled there. Okay, then we got sidebar and let's see how uh, it works. Let's start first uh, webpack process with npm run dev. It started successfully and if I go to the uh, sidebar JS and if I type something like const a equal one, I save it and you see that um, the change was picked up instantly in sidebar.js uh, and uh, the bundle was recreated. And now it would be enough to go to the browser, refresh the page, and we would have the latest JavaScript code available to us. So in this quick video, my point was to uh, explain and show that uh, most likely if you're using JavaScript, that then you need to package uh, all the dependencies in a single bundle. It's way more convenient than include separate JavaScript files uh, in your Django templates, right? And it's good because it works out of the box. 
with local uh, scripts and with dependencies installed through NPM. And it also gets all the dependencies and creates a single distributable. This way it's easier to deploy application to the production. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.